Okay, so let's say you've decided to host an Oscar party and you want to include oysters. How do you serve them? Event planner Rebecca Wise is here to show us a few decorating ideas. Welcome, Rebecca. <laughs> so what are some things that we need to start thinking about before uh, we start decorating? First and foremost, you want to consider how many oysters you're going to need. So we're looking at 6 to 12 per person. You want to try to have some variety. So even if you're a novice, try to have one East Coast variety and one West Coast variety. And who's going to shuck them all? Hiring someone like Jess costs about $50 an hour. <laughs> or... <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> pay her more. I think we need to pay her more. Okay, but that's yeah. the average. Yeah, right. and you want to make sure that they arrive in time just so that they can set up and start shucking. I would hire Jess in a second. She'd get witty chatter with it as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. You get a lot with yeah. Jess. Okay, let's talk about how to serve them. Uh, there is the holy grail of vessels, <laughs> but you've got a lot of options. Mm -hmm. You can either go with one really large focal point, one big vessel that will hold all of your oyster varieties. Because everyone has one of these kicking around in their <laughs> Call me. Um, <laughs> your garnishes, it'll hold your signage, it'll hold your champagne. Or you can go with multiple smaller vessels and have one type of oyster in each one of those. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. okay so what about the accoutrements? I know not everyone is interested in eating their oysters just plain and naked. Let's talk about the accoutrements. You definitely want to make sure you have the three basics, lemons, hot sauce, and cocktail sauce. Mm. Um, I like to up my game, so I would probably provide some creme fraiche, some caviar, some ponzu sauce to keep it a little bit different. And speaking of garnishes, take an empty oyster shell. Make sure you clean it out first. Take a little bit of gold paint, just like this. Paint the inside, make sure that it's all cleaned, oh. right? And then you instantly have a vessel for your garnishes, just like in front with the salt and pepper. Oh, that's so lovely. That pretty? It's very really clever. easy. Super, super, super easy. Super clever. Let's talk about the proper etiquette if you are at a party mm -hmm. or somewhere where you're eating these. So what would you recommend? So in a dinner party environment, you want to take your empty oyster shell, you eat it, and then you take it and you place it upside down on your plate so your server or your host know that they can clear it. I've okay. never done that. So you can't stack them? Is that rude? Is that considered? <laughs> I've done. It's so rude. Is You're it? so oh, no, no. No. Okay. no, I just just proper etiquette. Okay. This is just, you know, sort of the rules. Um, I'm sure if a server saw a bunch of stacked oysters, they would take them away as well. Okay, good, good. In a cocktail setting, as a host, you want to make sure that you have enough disposal vessels around so that guests aren't walking around with empty oyster shells all night. True that. Okay, mm. so um, it tells about some of the other things that you've added to this table to make it look so fancy for our Oscar party. Well, it's the Oscars. So I went with a gold and black and red theme, obviously. So gold and black details with red roses, because that to me indicates red carpet. Mm. I chose some gold and black balloons, and these ones say cheers on the front. They're super cute. And and I added little bow ties down the gold ribbon on the balloons just for a little added festiveness. Nice. I chose some black and gold glitter and confetti just to make it seem more of like a glitzy gala. Mm. And of course, uh, oyster pearls. You can see them here. Oh, it's thematic. Nice uh, it reminds us of oysters, but it's also decadent. Very I lovely. Love that. I think we should cheers to you. Oh, Thank yeah. you, Rebecca, for these great ideas. Cheers. Cheers. OK, we're going to leave you here for right now because we're going to go check in on Jess. All right, let's head on over. Jess, how are you doing? Well, 